Kerbal Space Program. How do you start to talk about a game like this? Perhaps I'll try by just explaining what it is. So, KSP on Steam is listed as a simulation, sandbox, physics, space, sim, science thing. And as a sandbox experience, there are so many ways that you can play this game. There are three main modes. First, there's sandbox, where you have unlimited resources and everything unlocked. So you can just make whatever you want, no matter how completely bonkers it is, and just try your absolute best to fly it. Science uh, is the second mode, and this is sort of a soft career mode where you can go through exploring and gaining tech unlocks without needing to worry about running out of money or going bankrupt. Basically, the full game, but with no way to outright lose. And lastly, career. Career, in my humble opinion, is the full KSP experience. For this review, I'm going to be focusing on career mode. In career mode, you start with a very limited amount of technology in the way of spacecraft parts and a couple bucks to your name. With this humble start, you find yourself simply strapping a capsule onto a solid rocket booster and trying to fly it only to realize that you forgot parachutes. Yeah, you make a few mistakes. You build ever more complicated rocketry and complete missions flying higher and higher until you make it to space. And then the nearby moons. And then eventually, the other planets. This whole time you must manage your space center's finances, technology, and mission control. But if by some very unfortunate circumstance, a vehicle that you've built experience a RUD, also known as Rapid Unplanned Disassembly, you'll likely lose your very first pilot, Jebediah Kerman. But don't fret, there is a lineup of eager young pilots ready to fly your next work of art or abomination. The gameplay loop revolves around building new spaceships, then choosing and flying missions for money and for reaching new areas to conduct scientific experiments. These flights culminate in ending the mission by hopefully bringing your pilots and scientists back home to Kerbin, their version of Earth. All while you're personally learning a lot about rocket science, orbital mechanics, and the dangers of re-entry heating. I've personally put about 900 hours into this game over the years, and I have gone from only knowing pointy end up, flamey end down, to understanding what delta V is and what a decent thrust per weight ratio is. The first time I landed on the MUN, their version of the moon, it really did feel like a giant accomplishment, and now it's easily completed in full Apollo-style glory. I found myself many times coming up with a crazy solution to a problem that I never could have foreseen. One great example was when I landed a scientific mission to another world that's quite inhospitable. I realized when I went to get my Kerbals out of the ship that the ladder that I thought that I'd added for a quick entry and exit out of the vehicle, well, I must have forgot it. My Kerbals were stuck and with no way to come and go. After pondering some solutions, I realized that I could rectify the situation. A second mission was sent, and after many more hours of fun, I landed an autonomous rover with a ladder that extended up from its chassis. The interplanetary ladder solution was a success, and there was much rejoicing. If you want a high-action, fast-paced gaming experience, this might be a bit of a snooze fest for you, and you might want to skip on it. Besides that, there is some controversy with the possibility of invasive terms of service, which you should be aware of and can be researched and taken into consideration before diving in. If you're interested at all in space science, this game can give you the basic grasp on the real working of agencies here on Earth, like SpaceX, NASA, JPL, ULA, ESA, and about 15 other acronyms. The modding community is super active, 
makes lots of amazing graphics, gameplay, quality of life mods. And there is a huge workshop library in Steam for different ships to try. You'll lose hours to creative problem solving that you just don't get from many other games. And of course, making your own rocket and just watching it fly. Overall, I give KSP a solid 8 out of 10 Jebediahs. Thanks so much for watching. There are so many other game reviews we've got for you to explore and more being added all the time. So don't forget to subscribe for more content just like this, but with other games, obviously. If there's a game that you'd like us to review, please leave a comment and don't forget to like because I know that you are very forgetful. So please do not forget to like. Greybeard out.